Hello everyone, I am Dr. Richa from Physiology Open and in this video I will talk about certain things which might be the most important thing in the journey of your first year and even later for other subjects. So do watch this video till the end because you will get certain concepts, you will get certain understanding which you will not get anywhere else. Okay, so first thing we talk about uh, physiology is about books and uh, there are many channels, many places you will come to know what are the books which are recommended. Obviously, the international standard, the gold standard book for physiology is Guyton. Okay, so Guyton nowadays there are two editions available, Southeast Asian edition and the international edition. In India, generally now students are buying the Southeast Asian edition. However, the best book for Guyton is the international edition, not the Southeast Asian edition. But Southeast Asian edition is easier to read. So people are buying that because a lot of experiments have been deleted from Southeast Asian edition. Secondly, uh, thing is that okay southeast asian edition is easy to read but for your neat exam which will happen after five years you will have questions from this international edition because it is more clinically oriented and nowadays they these people give graphs directly picked up from guyton book and you have to interpret those uh, graphs okay but it's fine if you start reading with southeast asian edition also thing is that guyton reading is must but nowadays people are skipping Guyton also and moving only to the Indian edition books. But remember for long term Guyton reading is must. Okay. Now coming to Indian edition books. Indian edition books, uh, there are many Indian edition books. Uh, the available books which people generally read is uh, the one by G.K. Pal sir, A.K. Jain sir and uh, there are other books also like Indu Khurana and uh, many other books are available. But I am not going to recommend any Indian edition book. Yes, you will get uh, to know, you will see that many people are reading G.K. Pal sir's book and A.K. Jain sir's book. But uh, I don't recommend as such because frankly speaking, I have found a lot of errors in these books. Secondly, uh, the concept, the understanding of physiology doesn't break up, doesn't build when you read uh, these books. Actually, it is Guyton which helps you understand the concept. Yes, for writing points in the answers, these books are good because uh, what happens that when you are reading Guyton, thing is that that moment you may feel that you are understanding everything but the synthesis of the answers requires certain points writing. So in that case, uh, Indian edition books help. Now there are two ways. What I suggest is, okay, you buy any Indian edition book, whichever you feel like. Because I have seen many students who are reading one book and they complain a lot. They are not understanding anything. I am teaching since 18, 19 years now. So they complain a lot. And when I see the books, I find like, okay, this is like too much extensive information and some information which is not needed also in the Indian books. In fact, Guyton, what it does is it gives the concepts and repeats the same concept again and again so that concept will directly go into your head but again answer writing some people uh, find problem so what you do is you keep the Indian edition books and uh, best way I will tell is you pre-read Guyton before the lectures okay you cannot pre-read entire thing at least go through the headings of the chapter for which the lecture is uh, going on attend the lecture make shorthand notes with the lecture right then come back and then you see these books okay so first read the, the entire guide and after the lecture for that then sit with this indian books in which points are there add points from the lecture add points from the guide and or best make your own notes okay those people who can make their own notes that is best okay and uh, own notes means don't create a book for the book that means you should not write everything, take relevant points, create flowcharts and then make your own notes. So that is about the books. Okay. Indian books, as I told, I am not recommending anything, but I always tell the students, read the book, which you understand, which you are able to write, right? Then what should be the approach? See, this physiology is a understanding subject it is not a fact based subject it is not a fact based subject please try to understand this you cannot mug up physiology so 
don't uh, try to muck up physiology in fact you have to develop an understanding of the concepts in physiology anybody who is trying to make you understand only the facts he is not teaching you physiology he is teaching you something else okay writing answers is one thing but remember this physiology subject is fundamental to your understanding of the subjects next year your pathology pharmacology medicine everything depends on your understanding of physiology so your fundamentals have to be very clear so what you do is try to understand the subject now when we are trying to understand say suppose uh, i am talking about cardiac cycle now in cardiac cycle first you should know that okay these are the chambers of the heart here the valves are located and what is the duration of the cardiac cycle only when you know certain facts then only you will be able to remember the understanding you will have the understanding similarly suppose i am talking about the clotting process so people will ask you names of 13 clotting process so yes that facts are there certain facts have to be known because that is the vocabulary of the subject so that you should know and if you are forgetting the facts try to create the mnemonics understanding so what i do is i read once and when i read the second time if i don't remember the fact immediately i create a mnemonic out of it because i don't know that whether third time also same thing is going to happen to me or not so for facts i create the mnemonics wherever possible and then only i will be able to develop the understanding because facts will help me connect the subject so everywhere you have to connect the subject understanding is very important so in this subject you have to really scratch your head for understanding and once you understand it once you get it you will know that okay now i have the command over the subject but once you don't understand it it will always trouble you okay so focus here in understanding now when you are reading the book you will have lot of interconnections because of this understanding physiology wholly is interconnected when you read the initial Uh, chapters you will see lot of references are given for the next chapters other chapter in fact in the beginning itself suppose when you start reading homeostasis there will be examples of uh, cardiovascular system there will be examples uh, say suppose in positive feedback negative feedback both you will see uh, bp regulation uh, uh, these uh, positive and negative feedback uh, examples will be there in positive feedback shock will be given for bp so it you may find it little difficult to understand that you will try to only remember the facts there but slowly slowly as you progress through the subject your understanding is going to increase okay so you should always remember to revisit revisit the previous points okay so what is going to happen that initially suppose when you are reading general physiology say suppose you are reading transport across cell membrane lot of references from other chapters will be given don't worry don't worry because in the first reading it is not that you are going to master that chapter but remember that when needed you have to come back to that chapter physiology is that only there will be lot of interconnections in between the chapters and there will be references given in those chapters so always come back to the original chapter clear your concepts and then go back so when you are reading transport across cell membrane you will see that in renal physiology in any in fact any chapter there will be lot of transporters proteins so you come back if you don't understand that concept you come back and read that chapter and get your concepts solid right so that is very important revisiting the interconnectedness between the chapters and make a habit also of asking why and how in physiology because fact is one thing but why this is happening how this is happening will help you understand the physiology now if there are certain things which you don't understand then obviously teachers are there you can visit them in your college nowadays so many online teachers are available you can ask them i am also always available as people who have subscribed to my channel know that i answer most of the questions which students ask me as comments in my uh, channel okay so always be ready to approach your teachers with questions if you are not understanding a concept because sometimes a concept understanding may be critical for your uh, understanding a particular question or understanding the next uh, subsequent concept as well finally if you are having trouble with reading guyton 
I have created a full series of Gaitan and Genong videos which is available on my app. I have taken the entire content of both the books. Genong I have not even recommended here because I feel it is difficult to read for undergraduate but it is also a must read book for your future. So I have taken uh, content from Gaitan and Genong and created a full physiology videos, whole physiology videos from the content of Gaitan and Genong which is available in them app you have to purchase that but i have kept the price very minimum so as to help the student notes are also available and videos are also available so that was about uh, how you are going to approach the physiology if you have any questions please do put as comments and i will try to answer them in fact if uh, they are if i if there is a possibility i will make a full video on it so thanks for watching the video and uh, do share this video with all your friends so they understand that how to approach the physiology and do subscribe to my channel Physiology Open.